Dodgers hosting the Rangers. The Rangers are plus 126 on the money line. The Dodgers are minus 148. The over-under is nine runs. The Rangers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Dodgers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Dunning pitched once against the Dodgers last year. Three innings, five runs, five earned. They lost 16 to three and he struck out one. Paxton did not pitch against the Rangers and they haven't confirmed Dunning yet, but all signs point to it being him who's pitching today. Now it's supposed to be 67 degrees in LA with nine mile an hour winds blowing out and no rain. Yet again, California has been having some beautiful weather lately. Head to head, the Dodgers are seven and three, the road team six and four, the favorite is six and four on the money line. The favorite winning by multiple runs, laying a run and a half is six and four. There have been no one run games in their last 10. So whether it's the favorite or the underdog, whomever is winning, they win by at least two. The over is hitting their last three. The over is 6-2-2, two, and two, and the over nine is 6-3-1. And, and I believe I said the favorite is both 6-4 and four on the money line and 6-4 and four on the run line. Uh, the Rangers, we're going to have to just go with Dunning for the season. He's got six days worth of rest, too, so this is even more interesting. Five innings pitched, 5.7 uh, strikeouts per game, 15.2 outs recorded, 3.7 hits, 2.3 earned runs, 2.7 runs overall, 3.7 hits, one home run per game, 85.4 pitches per game, and 17.2 pitches per inning. And in his last five starts, they are 3-2. and two. For the Dodgers, in Paxton's last five starts, they are 3-2. and two. The over has hit in his last four. The over is 4-1 and one in his last five starts. Four innings pitched, 4.8 hits, three runs, 2.8 of which were earned, three strikeouts, 1.2 walks, 0.8 home runs, 75.4 pitches, and 19 pitches per inning. So he's not going very deep in these games. The Rangers are 5-5 five five in their last 10, 2-2 two two in their last four. 10 runs, 7 runs, 4 runs, 9 runs. 9 runs and a win, 2 runs and a loss, 1 run and a loss, and then 7 runs and a win with Evaldi on the mound. For the Dodgers, they kicked the shit out of the Yankees after getting the shit kicked out of them by the Pirates. Uh, 18 runs, 3 runs, 14 runs, and then 10 runs. 11 runs and a win, 2 runs and a win, 11 runs and a win again, and then 4 runs and a loss. I'm going to take the Dodgers with the money line, the Dodgers laying the runs, and I will go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.